What's up, everyone? Welcome into the Recruiting Roundup brought to you by Ortho Arizona. I'm Claudia Collins alongside Cody Cameron, and we are putting a bow on spring ball in kind of the best way possible. We've been talking about two camps for quite some time where we get college coaches out on the field checking out our Arizona high school football players, and I would say it was a successful weekend. Cody, why don't we just quick start with your camp? You were at the Lake Forest camp, one that you have raved about for a few years now what was your takeaway well yeah like you said coach cat has done this for a couple of years now and he's one of the best to do it not just in the state of arizona but really in the entire west coast this has become the premier collegiate camp and just seeing the growth of it claudia i mean i remember when coach cat put this all together a couple of years ago it has tripled in numbers since then and it's such an amazing opportunity not only for the lake forest staff but so many other collegiate programs to really structure their recruiting class by coaching these kids in person like they did this past weekend. Um, you know, it started off with a great idea with Coach Zupke and the AZFCA about trying to get the guys during COVID recruited when no coaches could travel. And now it's grown into probably the biggest recruiting camp for Division II and Division Three in the Southwest. Um, I love that all the other colleges have committed to coming out here. For us, you know, we bring about 12 to 13 guys a year in from Arizona, but there's probably another 100 last year that found homes in D2 and D3 from this camp. Cody, I actually love that you talked about what the size of this camp looked like a few years ago because I was at the first ever HBCU camp, first ever, which means there's so much room to grow, but they honestly had an awesome turnout. And I actually think with the size of the camp, it was right around like 35, 40 kids, I believe. They have really had the opportunity to like show who they are as a player in front of these coaches. If you think about it, it's the first time that these East Coast programs are getting out here to Arizona and seeing what we have to offer. And Cody, you and I both know Arizona's got a lot to offer. Well, 100 percent. And like you said, this is this is about the opportunity. Right. And speaking of opportunity, there was a ton of offers that were dished out after this Lake Forest camp. There's a two-way all-region player out at Casa Grande named Leland Sevedia, and this kid is a monster. He had a heck of a camp, and after, he gets offered by none other than the Lake Forest College staff. And another player to really watch out for who had a tremendous camp is Thunderbird, class of 2025, three-sport athlete and 4.0-plus GPA, Ryan Cavallami. He's an edge rusher, had another great camp. He just dominated the one-on-one -on -one reps out there today. He's had a lot of traction this spring, naturally because of his grades and just the, the current resume that he has with being a three-sport athlete. Claudia, there's a ton of athletes out there. Who did you get to see? Uh, a little bit of everything and a little bit of everyone. I do also want to point out that this camp took place at Higley High School. Eddie Zuby played a big hand in putting on this camp. And he really talked about like the importance of bringing new schools out to Arizona to get attention on them. And it really, really worked out for one of his players, but let's hear from Eddie first. Yeah, I think it's huge. Uh, you just, you can only take one scholarship. So as many people as you can get in front of that are realistic uh, about you coming to play for them and, and getting evaluated. And like I said, this is a untapped resource that I've had. So now it's something that I can get into and, uh, and it's just more leads for me to reach out for about kids wide receiver J.D. DeCosmaker, who got an offer from Morgan State. So it's really awesome for first ever camp to already see an offer, a couple offers come in. Well, that's all for this edition of the Recruiting Roundup as we wrap up spring ball. Thanks so much, Cody, for always bringing so much insight. For more recruiting news, head to sports360az.com.